Oh, hey there, everybody. My name is Neil Donovan. I got a fucking accent's going down. Hmm, see those hands? Going accents? Hmm. Hmm, it's my ears now. Whatever. Yo, how's it going? Dread Donnie here. I got some information to let you just mull over and think about. I'm at the moment, I'm uh, writing and studying on dreadlock history. Let's <laughs> go. Yes, got some information going down, doing some research. Probably gonna have a tea or a decaf coffee because too much caffeine is gonna make my heart go <laughs> and just explode. Just wanted to give you all an update. I'm concocting my dready goodness in this box here. In the uh, cowbell. Who's your big cowbell? Best body milk in the cows. In here we have a concoction of ingredients, eh? This is going to flavor my soaps. This is a, uh, it's got a flavor on my soaps. Basically my shampoo soaps, uh, my dread soaps and stuff are gonna go in these bars. Perhaps I'll do a liquid soap. I don't know yet, I've not really studied that down. But in this cow bowl here, I've got my ingredients. Gonna go out this uh, afternoon and scour some grounds for lavender and such and such. Maybe some rose petals in there, bad boy. <laughs> um, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, I, I send my sincere apologies. I'm not feeling too great. I just took some painkillers and I'm a bit high. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> just, please just forget it. I've, uh, I'm uploading this basically because I'm sitting here and I'm doing bugger all. I'm writing and just doing some dread history studies for my next video. And I thought I'd show you all my cowbell. And I'm do basically doing a base ingredient for my dread shampoos and my shampoo bars and stuff. And that's... What's in that big, big, big silver ball there? Mm, that thing. The one that you squirt cow milk into. If any of you know what it's called, let me know. I can't remember. My mind's like a fucking fizz. It's bubbling away. No information in there. It's just bubbling away. <laughs> DreadTube 24-7. My last video. There. DreadTube 24-7. Last video. Um, yes. Uh, in this big thing out here, I have all my ingredients for my dread soap. My dread soaps. And my bars and stuff. And I'm going to keep adding. I'm going to keep adding and adding and adding. Until I have a, a sort of a reduced mixture. And it's going to condense. And it's going to be strong. And basically what I'll do is then I will decant it into smaller soaps. Make them into smaller soaps. And the strength will even out and become quite mellow for your dreads. Obviously the more I add to it the stronger it's going to get. But everything I'm adding to it is researched. And everything I'm putting into it is going to be good for your scalp and good for your dreads. All right, so I'm not going to fall anything off that's rubbish. I'm doing a lot of research into how to look after your hair and how to keep the moisture in there without giving it too much conditioning in there, you know. Uh, there's a lot of stuff I've got to go through to do it, but it's going well. Um, I'm using my bad shoulder, so it's hurting to hold this phone, but it's all good. Um, yes, so right now I'm going to go back to my notes on the bed on here. Mm, yes. Mm. See you there later now. No, he's, he's gone. He's going away somewhere. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get all this done. I just wanted to show you all that. If you if you have any ingredients you want to send me, such as lavender or some some potpourri, I, I got a habit of grinding down potpourri and making it into an oil just for a scent. If you have any rose petals or dried rose petals you want, you, you'd like to send me at the goodness of your heart, please send me some. Or sage, if you've got any sage, please just send me some. White sage is always good to have in your cupboard. Yes, inbox me a comment if you want to add anything to the shampoo and I want to have yourself some Dread Donny shampoo. Everybody wants some of that. Yet. <laughs> comment, like the video. Don't like the video, like, unlike the video. You can do your thumbs down. I don't mind. I don't care. I'm here doing this and that's what I'm doing. If you're not interested, you can just piss out. Yes, so I'm going to let you all go. And just wanted to give you all a quick update. I filmed my video earlier and it's regarding dread business. If you're not talking to dread lot business, then watch my video. I'll do another one later on, more in depth information, but that one's just a quick study for a guy who messaged me regarding opening his own business quite close to my area. And he better not do it because I won't be very happy. <laughs> but you all go. Um, yeah. Great day, guys. I hope you have a lovely day. The sun's still out. Go out and enjoy it. It's going to be away soon. And I'm going to go back to all this rubbish and keep myself occupied. See you all later, dudes. Peace and love, eh?